In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this disappearing effect, and we're going to use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit this effect. So let's get into it. So to begin with, you first need to put your camera onto a tripod. It's really important that your camera is mounted to a tripod because you're basically stitching two shots together. Now from here, you want to frame up your subject and it's really important that your subject is standing against a background which is not moving. So it's really important that you don't do this in the city center with people walking by. And it's also really important that you avoid traffic or anything moving in the background. Now, next you want to grab a blanket or something that you're gonna throw in front of your subject. So we've got this blanket here and essentially what we're gonna do is on action, you're just gonna throw this in front of your subject. So the subject's gonna throw this in the air and make sure it completely covers the subject. And then you just basically want to stay as still as possible when you're behind that blanket. Now you just want to leave that sitting on the floor. If you can see it there, you want to make sure nothing in the scene moves. You want to get up very slowly and very carefully and move out of the scene. Now you want to keep the camera rolling for around 10 seconds. This is your clean plate and it's really important that we have this for the effect. And once you've caught that, stop filming and we're gonna drop this into Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, as you can see, we've got the footage of me throwing the blanket in the air here. And there we go, we're gonna make a cut there. And then we'll just move to the point where we've got nothing, nobody in frame. And essentially we're gonna go from this to this. So to begin with this effect, you first want to find the point where the blanket starts to fall. So it's starting to fall here. And now there you can see me, it's just caught me here. So we'll go a few frames back and we're just going to create a mask around that. So we're just going to unlink this from the audio. We'll make a copy of this. So we'll hold option and drag that up. Press C on the keyboard, press V and delete the first part of that video. And we're just gonna draw a mask around the top of that blanket. We'll go to the pen tool and we're just gonna draw a mask around the top of the blanket. Now, I'm just gonna do this very quickly. It doesn't need to be perfect in my example. And then from there, we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. So select the toggle animation stopwatch icon. We'll move a few frames to the right. Then you want to update that mask to follow the movement of that blanket. Again, it's not gonna be perfect in my example. I'm just gonna do this very quickly, but make sure it's perfect in yours. Move a few frames over. We'll follow that blanket down to here. And that is going to completely animate off screen. So there we go. We'll leave that at around there. So essentially what we've got here is the mask following this blanket as it's falling. Again, this mask is super rough. Ignore my really rough masking. This won't look great as a result. But basically what you wanna do here is at the start of this mask, you want to pull this up to video layer three. We want to take our clean plate. So this is a shot of nobody in and we'll drag that directly underneath. So as this falls down, we are revealing nothing. So if we quickly check this back, we'll see Blanket goes up, blanket comes down, and we change shots. There we go. Of course, you can see the edges of the mask. This is because the mask was done super roughly. But the effect is basically there. Now, once you've completed that mask and you've added in all the clean plates and everything underneath it, you should now have an effect that looks pretty believable. Of course, though, if you do need to go ahead and clean up any areas of imperfections that are going to give this effect away, then feel free to do so. But for now, if you're happy with the look of that, then you can just go ahead and select everything. We'll right click and go up to nest and we'll press OK. From here, we can go ahead and we can create some camera movement. So we'll just increase the scale to 110. And then we're just going to create a brand new keyframe on the position at the beginning and at the end. Then we'll create one in the middle. Then we'll go in between those first and third keyframes. We'll move the position to the left and down. We'll go in between these frames. We'll pull it up and to the right. And if we play this back, this is essentially just simulating some basic camera movements. Of course, if that's a little bit too jarring though, then you can just go ahead Select all of those keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in, 
and that should look a bit more natural. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.